Despite having to make accommodations for new guidelines, the BCP states that they have had no issues with a decline in the number of students using their service. And Trump decided to opt out of the event. Both candidates, however, participated in town hall events in another attempt to reach voters. Take 30's Dalton Whitfield has the story. The Clippers are expected to launch next year and the group says that they are excited about getting their product into shops across the country. Humes joined forces with the Holmes Cultural Diversity Center and the Student Association, Black Voices, and several other organizations to prevent the sit-down. After witnessing an outcry for change among minorities across the nation, Humes hoped that this would be the beginning of important conversations about racism among the community and their peers. Even though this event had to contend with COVID restrictions and the changes to the drill field because of construction, the process was simple and easy. Students could bring in a gently worn t-shirt like this, and in exchange, they were able to get one of these. Despite the university's reason for canceling spring break, many students are not feeling the idea. Hispanic Heritage Month was celebrated September 15th through October 15th. MSU's Holmes Cultural Diversity Center and the Latin Student Association contributed to the festivities by hosting a virtual Latin dance competition this past Wednesday. Even though many students are excited to be back here at Mississippi State, many can't get used to the class schedule. Even though there are certain steps and processes those wishing to cast an absentee ballot must go through, it is encouraged that they do not give up and that they ask questions when attempting to get their ballot. Here at MSU and Lab Rats Comedy were getting ready to roll out the red carpet for their respective shows, but COVID-19 rolled it right back up. Take 30's John Michael Phillips tells us whether or not this is the curtain call on the fall 2020 season. Jane Zeta made landfall Wednesday. In the aftermath of the storm, over 2 million people have been left without power and 6 people have been killed as a result of Hurricane Zeta. Areas that have seen a significant amount of rain, winds like this and stronger could mean uprooting trees because they now have much softer soil. Starkville lost one of their very own, Dan Camp, earlier this week. Stay tuned to find out more about his long battle with coronavirus. The formation of Tropical Storm Wilfred, meteorologists have run out of the pre-selected names for the 2020 hurricane season. Any future storms will be named using the Greek alphabet. This is just the third time all 21 names were used. The last, 2005, with Hurricanes Katrina, Rita, Stan, and Wilma. Multiple volunteering opportunities are available for students, such as the West Point Animal Shelter, Palmer Thrift Store, and after school tutoring. One experience, though, allows students to work on construction sites with little to no previous experience needed. 